Federal jury convicted Robert G. Bowers, the gunman and perpetrator of the 2018 Tree of Life synagogue shooting, of all 63 federal charges. He was convicted of 22 crimes, including 11 capital counts of free exercise of religious beliefs resulting in death. This was the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in US history. With the jury's conviction, this makes Bowers eligible for the death penalty, and the trial will now move on to what is known as the penalty phase on June 26th. With Bowers now awaiting his sentence, the question being asked is, will he be sentenced to death or will he face life in prison? I am feeling a sense of relief that after four and a half years, the world has heard again about the horrific acts on October 27, 2018, and the shooter has, is being held accountable for those awful acts. It was emotional to be in the courtroom. Um, it was emotional to be sitting there with these families I've gotten to know since that horrible day in 2018 and, no, and, and not understanding what they must be feeling. It was emotional to be there, um, a couple rows right behind the person who committed this heinous crime and took 11 members of our community. On October 27, 2018, gunman Bowers stormed into Pittsburgh's Squirrel Hill neighborhood's Tree of Life synagogue armed with three handguns and an AR-15 rifle. He murdered 11 worshippers and wounded six others. The shooting occurred while the synagogue was hosting three congregations for weekly Shabbat services. Even with Bowser's conviction and punishment, the Tree of Life massacre will leave lasting scars on the Jewish community of Pittsburgh and the United States.